Welcome to Bolivia, one of the most stunning countries on the planet. But Bolivia also has a darker side. Through writing Marching Powder, I became fascinated by the world of cocaine trafficking. I uncovered stories from living legends who have fought on both sides of the law. Stories full of corruption, violence, revenge and death. In April 1979, cocaine was just starting to emerge. Miami is one of the principal branch offices for what can be called Cocaine Inc. There were very few people that get involved in the drug business to make a profit and get the hell out. We're in the jungle and we're going to go hit a, a laboratory. A guy comes up to right where we're at. Listen, I've got my gun right at his head. Paulo Escobar put a contract on my life. His bodyguard comes in, and he's pointing a shotgun at me. And I pointed the gun at him, and I said, we all die here. And I was an expert in assassinating. Because I would never be an assassin, because I would always be an assassin. What can we learn from the launderers, smugglers, and cold-blooded killers who've lived to tell their tale? And do any of them hold the key to stop Bolivia from becoming a narco-state? <laughs>